Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. I'm working on the cuff of my crab walk socks, and I'd like to show you a neat way to add a little extra dimension and interest to basic knit ribbing by using smocked or wrapped stitches. My socks happen to have three by two ribbing, meaning there are columns of three knit stitches followed by two purl stitches. But this technique can be used for just about any plain knit rib. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you enjoy our videos, consider joining the pack and becoming a member of the chilidog.com for ad free access to our entire learning library, priority support, and more. When you smock stitches and knitting, you're essentially wrapping your working yarn around the stitches either before you work them or instead of working them in a specific round or row. When you smock ribbing, you want to wrap the stitches that are knit on the right side and then work the purl stitches like normal. And there are a couple of different ways to go about this. You could slip the knit stitches purlwise onto a cable needle. Then wrap your working yarn one or more times counterclockwise around the stitches. I'm just going to wrap one time today. And then you slip those held stitches from the cable needle purlwise again onto the right needle. And then purl to the next rib. Or if you don't happen to have a cable needle handy, you can slip the stitches that are being smocked from one needle tip to the other as you wrap them. And this creates the exact same effect, but in this case, I'm going to bring my yarn back between the two needles, slip my knit stitches purlwise to the right needle, bring my yarn forward between the needles, slip the stitches back to the left needle, bring my yarn back, and then slip the stitches again purlwise to the right needle, and then I could continue purling. Whichever way you choose, pay attention to your tension as you wrap your stitches. You may choose to wrap fairly loosely like I have here, or you may prefer a tighter wrap for a more dramatic look. Either way is fine, depending on what you want to create. Just make sure that you're being consistent. Usually the knit stitches are smocked every three to six rounds or rows, depending on the width of your ribs and the effect you'd like to create. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create smocked ribbing. If you'd like to try this technique in a pattern, head over to the shop section of thechilidog.com and look for my crab walk socks. Until we stitch again, happy knitting.